monitoring DHT11 or DHT22 temperature and humidity with local web server using Node MCU ESP8266. In this project, we will create a standalone web server using a Node MCU ESP8266 that displays the temperature and humidity as well as latest coronavirus statistics. Actually, the web server we will build can be easily accessed with any device that features a browser on your local network. Throughout this tutorial we'll show how we build a synchronous web server, which will updates the temperature and humidity automatically. We don't need to refresh the web page to update the data. Actually, we have used custom CSS to style the web page. Components required to build this project, you need the following components. Node MCU ESP8266 Development Board. DHT22 or DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor. Node MCU ESP8266 and DHT11 DHT22 schematic diagram. Interface the DHT11 or DHT22 temperature and humidity sensor to the ESP8266 as shown in the following schematic diagram. In this tutorial, we're interfacing the DHT data pin to GPIO5 D1, but you can use any other suitable GPIO pins. If you're using an ESP01, GPI02 is the most suitable pin to interface to the DHT data pin. Program sketch, code. Importing libraries. First of all, import the required libraries. Setting your network credentials. Insert your network credentials in the following variables, so that the ESP8266 can connect to your local network. Define the GPIO that the DHT data pin is connected to. In this case, it's connected to GPI05 D1. Then, select the DHT sensor type you're using. In our example, we're using the DHT11. If you're using another type, you just need to uncomment your sensor and comment all the others. Instantiate a DHT object with the type and pin defined earlier. Create an async web server object on port 80. Create float variables to hold the current temperature and humidity values. The temperature and humidity are updated in the loop. Create timer variables needed to update the temperature readings every 10 seconds. Building the web page, let's see how this web page is created. All the HTML text with styles included is stored in the index HTML variable. Now we'll go through the HTML text and see what each part does. The following tag makes your web page responsive in any browser. The tag is needed to load the icons from the Fontasm website. Between the tags, we add some CSS to style the web page. Automatic updates finally, there's some JavaScript code in our web page that updates the temperature and humidity automatically, every 10 seconds. Scripts in HTML text should go between the tags. Uploading the code. After modifying the sketch with the necessary changes, if needed, upload the code to your ESP8266. Make sure you have the right board and COM port selected. Go to Tools, Board and select the ESP8266 model you're using. In our case, we're using the ESP8266 12E Node MCU kit. Also, select the COM port the ESP8266 is connected to. Press the Arduino IDE Upload button. After uploading the code, open the serial monitor at a boo rate of 115,200. Press the ESP8266 reset button. The ESP8266 IP address will be printed in the serial monitor as shown here. Demonstration in your local network, go to a browser and type the ESP8266 IP address. It should display the following web page with the latest sensor readings. This was the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel for more amazing projects on upcoming days. Stay home, stay safe, see you soon on the next video.